Here's another home improvement tip from Todd and Todd. So Todd, we happen to be at a house that's only 18 years old. They replaced windows nine years ago, and yet they didn't do the round top window. Tell us a little bit about what, were, what you found here. Well, it, this is a really common problem. Uh, about 20, 25 years ago, these radius windows became very popular, and the builders were putting them in left and right. Right. But they cause a big problem. All right, usually they're on a gable end of a house where there's no, there's no soffit to protect them. They take the brunt of the snow, the ice, the water, the storms, and they get wet. And a lot of times what we see is what this homeowner had, somebody just covered it with aluminum, and what they covered up was just a completely rotted mess uh, where water and snow and ice have penetrated this wood here and just turned it into you know, something that's no longer uh, viable. What happens here is the water penetrates this wood, it gets wet, it rots this material out, and all that water simply drains through that rotted material, and where does it go? It gets to the rest of the windows, Todd. Right. So, you know, what, what we're talking about here is windows that are, you know, challenging to install. I mean, the homeowner originally did not replace this window because it's very difficult to replace these specialty shaped windows correctly. You need to have a company that's going to give you round vinyl brick mold on the outside so that it can't rot. They've got to create templates and get the interior casings and the interior jams all to look properly, get them cut round top as well. And that's not something easy to do. Right, and what we find out is that a lot of times people just leave this, they leave it go. They sure do. They'll, they might replace, like this homeowner did right. replace this, but not this. Right. But this is probably the more critical window because everything below it is gonna rot because of the water that's draining through it. And we've got a solution for that. Right. right. We've got a manufacturer that makes an all vinyl replacement window complete with vinyl brick mold around the perimeter. So we don't have to worry about that rainwater and snow anymore. We've got a material that is not going to rot or decay. And as well, Todd, we're able to get brand new interior jams made to fit the radius of the window just like they are currently and brand new casings. So on the inside we can get colors to match and on the outside completely maintenance free. Let's watch them put one of these windows in and, and take a look to see how it's done. So the first thing that we did on the round top window is we went on the inside of the house and removed the casings. When the casings were removed on the inside it enabled us to take the nails and, and pull that window out to the outside of the home, including the brick mold and the actual round top window with the jams themselves. Because we had rotted wood up there, we wanted to make sure that that rotted wood didn't get into any of the framing around that window that was structural. And once we were convinced that we got past that rotted wood, we were then able to take the round top window and set it in from the outside of the home. When that window was set in from the outside of the home, we did put some back caulking behind the brick mold uh, previous to that so that the brick molding would seal that window up to the home and give us a permanent fixture to help keep water and air infiltration from getting in behind. Once that window was installed from the outside of the house, we went back to the inside to put the finished trim work up and uh, get everything completed. We then went to the, uh, the three casement windows below that. When it comes to the three casement windows, we really did about the same thing. We removed the interior casing and slid that window out to the outside of the home. And there we uh, unfortunately found a little more extensive damage. Uh, so we had to do our repairs and um, get all the rotted wood out. And then that opening was prepared to put the brand new window in. Once that brand new window was in place and it was back caulked behind the brick mold, we went on to the inside put the brand new casings up around the interior perimeter and uh, really all we have left to do now is just finish caulking and cleaning up that window and uh, we've got a beautiful result. Um, and you know Todd's got something else to show us about the windows that we actually took out of that opening. Todd? Well what I wanted to show us is what's hidden. A lot of times we don't really realize the extent of the damage. We uh, thought that, that we would have a water problem due to the amount of damage that there was in that brick mold on the radius window on the top. What happens is that water again dra drains down and does damage below. This is a, a, a shot here of the lower window. You can see the extent of the damage that, that existed here. Not only did it rot out the jam of the window, it also rotted out the subsill which needed to be replaced. And that generally occurs from the window above, the radius window. So um, this is the kind of damage. Now what we 
what we put in there is not going to do this. Todd, show them the, the new full frame brick with the vinyl brick mold on the inside. Okay. Todd, this is actually the difference that we get on the replacement windows that WeatherType puts in. Instead of having the traditional uh, window with wood framing, and on the outside of the home, we want to cover that wood with aluminum trim to make that maintenance free. With this new replacement window that we're putting, we don't have to do that. The beauty is we have a main frame that is completely all vinyl around the perimeter so that there's no painting, no maintenance, and better yet, in this case, no wood no, to rot, right? No rot. Okay. And then we finish that off, Todd, with a solid vinyl brick mold around the perimeter so that we don't have to put any aluminum trim on. We don't have to worry about what goes on underneath this window. That old wood is all gone. So we end up with a permanent solution. The other nice thing about it is, is the detail that we can get into the brick mold itself coming from the factory is something that we just can't do with uh, trying to bend aluminum trim on the outside. So the finished product is just much more elegant, much more beautiful than we could do otherwise. That's right, Todd, they sure turned out beautiful. They did. Y you know, these round top windows and other architecturally shaped windows are just notorious for the water damage that they create. Uh -huh. I mean, chances are, if, if, if you at home have got an architecturally shaped window or a round top window, you may be experiencing some sort of water damage yourself, staining on the wood or possibly even rot. So if you'd like to have somebody stop out to your home to just give you some ideas, yep. right? I mean, just go ahead and fill out the form right here on the website.